Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Hard Space Shipbreaker. Now this is a game that lets you dismantle and scrap old spaceships for huge profits. And I'm very pleased to say that the guys at Focus Entertainment are actually sponsoring this video so you can click on the link in the description where you can check out the game on Steam because it's just launched after two years of early access. It's finally out officially today. Now if you haven't played this game before then follow me. I will guide you through how it works. But if you have played it before the release of the full game sees a new major update which includes the last act of the story campaign as well as a save ship feature which you guys have been requesting for quite a while I've heard. But yes, as a shipbreaker, we need to enter our name. Of course, profanity or anti-corporate slang or jargon is not accepted. So my name is going to be Sean Scrapman. And then we get to pick our voice by listening to that. I don't know why that's a voice that we want to sound like. All right, and then we get to pick our diets. Chicken, plastic-free, vegetarian, or entomatarian. What is that? A quick Google says it's vegetarianism, but you can also eat insects. So I'm going to go with the good old-fashioned chicken, I think. Uh, they don't have to agree to a load of stuff. Blah, blah, blah. I'm so sure there's nothing major in there. Right, so the story here is we are in quite a lot of... <laughs> I mean, they even charged me just to show this bloody fees report. All right, so to clear that debt, we need to buy a ship and then we're going to salvage it. So we get to pick one to start with. I sort of want to go this one because it's called Shippy Dauntless. <laughs> You'll see these are all hazard level two, but as we get further through the game, they'll get more dangerous, but they'll also be more valuable to salvage. So this is how we start. We've got our tools. We're, we're literally in space. Like if you look down, there's the earth. <laughs> and this is our first ship. And as we're in zero gravity, we can literally, we can rotate however we want. We can do this whole thing upside down if we wanted to, uh, but I'm not going to because that would be quite confusing probably. So basically we have an entire spaceship to dismantle and put the different parts into different things. So over there, we've got like a furnace. There we've got a processing thing. And there's also a bay down there for things like engines and stuff. But you might be asking, how do I know what each of these things are? Well, if you press T, look, we can see literally the inner workings of this spaceship. The engineering that I've gone into that. Love to see it. Uh, main things to pay attention to are the yellow. They are things we can cut. So you'll see there's a cut point here. So if we just turn the scanner off. So if we select our cutting tool and we come a bit closer, we can melt this off. And now this huge engine is not connected. We can then go back to this tool, which which allows us to move things like that. So we can say, go down there. It's so heavy, you can literally feel it. But we also have this button, the middle mouse. Boosh, we can give it a bit of a shunt. So that's going down there. And as it enters that, we get credited with some credits. So we'll do the same to the other side. So that's cut off. And if you're wondering how I knew where it went, when you're looking at an object, can you see down there it says barge and it's in green. So barge is this area down there where it says deposit salvage. So boosh, go in there, mate. There you go, do some flips into that. Things like this side panel, you can see, it's got to go in the processor blue so that is that one and then anything aluminium that goes in the furnace over there so i can see on the front of this there's a few cut points so let's cut those off so that's one cut two cut three cut and the fourth is down here and then this huge piece is now disconnected so we can grab this and it says it's got to go in the processor so let's give it a bit of a boosh over to there nice that should go in and we have money so down here there's sort of this thing which i think yeah that needs to go in the barge so we have to try and disconnect that there we go we've got that so i think that's like a canister so you can go down there you know that goes in the processor boosh <laughs> The power. All right, next off, let's try and cut this side panel off. So here we go. I can see, I can see there's a cut point there and there. Now, if I go to my cutter, there's actually two separate ways to cut this. So there's this one, which we've been doing, but we can also, we can use this, which is like a big cutter. Whoa. <laughs> and you can sort of change the direction that you want to cut things. So one side panel in there, another one in there. So that's that done. And then we're sort of ready to head inside. Now you can see there's an airlock in here, but the door's already open, so we're fine. We do need to be careful on later levels. If it's pressurized and we cut through, we're in trouble. So let's grab that piece. You can go down there. And then I guess we're just going to cut all the bits of yellow and see what happens. So we'll cut those, cut that, cut that. Oh, and you'll see the roof has come off. So this has to be processed. So we'll take this over that way with a bit of a boosh. I think that should go in. 
Look at that. What a shot. I've also just removed the antenna, so we'll shove that down there. May as well remove this one whilst we're here as well. And then back inside, I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make this a convertible. So if I cut all of those off, uh, not quite, I think, because we have this flap on the top. All right, here we go. So we've got this. That can go boosh down there. Oh no, oh no, don't go too far. There you go. Then we can take this big old panel and boost it over there as well as that frame go over that way please oh and these ships they also have like resources on like oxygen and things so at the bottom your oxygen your health your fuel that all runs out and it costs you money to go and fill them up but thankfully this ship already contains some so we'll just take those meanwhile let's cut off this back door ow ow i blew something up <laughs> So you got to be careful when using your laser because <laughs> I just I just exploded a canister and oh man that is a mess that is a right mess anyway let's try and deal with this as best we can before the boss sees so as I didn't get hurt we're we're not too bad but it does mean this single panel is in lots and lots of pieces so it's a bit of a pain but to be fair it's my first day on the job so i can't do everything perfectly right all right so over on the other side this is what i actually destroyed uh, yeah this tiny tiny little canister did all the damage so we'll put you where you need to go down there to be processed oh look at the size of this front so i think that's too big for me to move. However, I can give it a bit of a nudge. Although, actually, I want to... Do you want to cut the front off? Or is that... I think it's all for the processor. It's all nanocarbon. So we'll just launch that in there. And that should be some fat cash. Ready? Oh, yes. 162 grand. All right, next up, let's do a bit more cutting. I think let's get the floor off. We'll shove that floor piece in the processor as well. I think all we need to do is cut that tiny little bit off and then we're good. And if we decide that like this piece is too heavy, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty tough. I'm not going to lie. But we can just switch to our cutter. We can switch to this one. So this will literally go floosh and just cut it into two. So look, now we can grab just this bit, which is a lot easier to move. Shove it into the processor and then grab its other half. That can go over there. Well, of course, you can only cut certain grade of materials with different strength tools. So, like, we can't cut through this nanocarbon, but we can cut through things like aluminium and titanium. And, of course, the canisters that nearly destroyed me. So, we're just going to cut all these remaining items off because there's sort of like a double wall thing going on. So, there's like an inner sort of thing and an outer thing. So, by cutting all of these off, we should detach the two. Tell you what, I'm just going to use this tool because... Loosh. It is a lot quicker. Right, so we'll shove that huge panel over into the processor. Well, look, we've literally ripped out the cockpit. <laughs> So these little things want to go down in the barge. So they're sort of like storage containers. I'm trying to rip them off. There you go. There's one. And then I think everything else in here. Oh, no, we got the seats. Got to put the seats down there. And then it looks like if we press T. Yep, the rest of that is good to go. So this literally just goes to the furnace. So there it goes. Goodbye, cockpit. You will be missed. And as it goes in, we get more credits. You can see up the top, there's sort of like different goals. Oh no, we destroyed lights. Oh no. So you can see the more we salvage, we get like different tiers. So one, two, three, four, five. And as we destroy things, the red bar gets longer, which means at the moment, uh, we can't fully dismantle this because we've destroyed too many items accidentally. Uh, so I need to pay a bit more attention with my scanners. For example, I was just about to throw this into the process because it looks like I've got everything. But look, on closer inspection there's a light there in orange so we've got to take that off and that goes down into the barge all right now you're good to go into the processor and then we can do the final remaining cuts make sure we rip off all these lights and then like on this panel we've got the airlock controller so you come off go down there and then you can go in there and we get a thumbs up because we reach salvage goal three now down here we've got that which needs to be furnace but the rest of it is nano carbon so i'm guessing what i want to do is cut it out so if we like go to say there give that a cut we can then rotate it and then cut down that edge and that edge and then we've got this bit of glass i guess it is which can go in the furnace and that can go in there and the final thing is this huge bit of whatever that is so i'm going to use this tool we're going to chop it in half probably so long there seems pretty sensible and then that can go into the furnace and then to be honest i think we're pretty good to go so we'll head out of here you can see we've pretty much done the entire ship so it will head into this end our shift yes please here you can go we made nearly five million quid but a very small amount disappeared that's probably where we exploded the canister my bad uh, and we destroyed quite a lot of stuff like lights and of course 
the fuel tank that we didn't see happen. But yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. That's 5 million off our 1.2 billion debt. <laughs> And even better, we're now a rank four. So we can head into here. This is like our sort of our like menu thing. You can see there's daily fees for everything. So, <laughs> so about 10% of what we earn has gone straight back out on all sorts of stuff like rental of the equipment, interest, you name it, you got to pay for it in the future. Anyway, this is us in our room. It's sort of like a menu, like you can sort of head around different areas. You can look at your equipment. And as you can see, like these, this stuff, like it degrades over time. So you can repair them with F. So we should probably do that. Yeah, but also there's loads and loads of upgrades. So I'm going to unlock some tethers. So that's for our grapple. And then we're going to go ahead and start our shift. So as each day continues, you can decide to carry on your ship if you want to get those final little bits. Or you can try a new one. Now I'm going to go for a hazard level 3 ship. So let's give the Lex or the Le Lex or the Le X. Is that like, that's the in French, isn't it? So the, the X. Anyway, if we manage to do this one, we'll get six and a half million quid. Nice. But yeah, so as I said earlier, this has been in early access for two years and the devs have been adding like loads of different stuff to it. So there's three acts of story campaign. They've added two new ship types, dozens of subtypes, and there's a new tool, the demolition charge, as well as adding new system, thousands of tweaks, bug fixes and improvements. And yeah, really appreciate devs that actually do work like after the early access, so many games like going to early access have so much promise and then like they're just forgotten about so yeah pretty cool that this has actually finally made it to a full release all right so i've just cut off these two engines let's have a go with my tether so tether that to that and now i can move one of these and then i think yeah it's taking the other one with it that's pretty cool although no no, no i've tethered it to the wrong thing <laughs> <laughs> How do I de-tether? Oh no, there's loads of tethers under here. All right, anyway, they're both in now. That was a little bit of a disaster. All right, so how is this one going to work? I reckon let's cut off this thing. All right, and this time, I'm determined to do this 100%. I'm going to get all the little fiddly bits. So all these chairs, all these fastened seatbelt signs, all the lights. I'm determined not to waste anything this time. So let's cut the roof off so this is a bit easier to get to. Don't let that light go with it, though. Now I can access all these bits and bobs that needs to go down here in the green boosh so we get a thumbs up because we've hit the first rank well i want at least five of those grab that light even though it's switched on thank you i don't know why but it's so satisfying doing things properly sometimes all right anyway i think it's time to do some cutting let's get this floor off i mean engineering wise it's a little bit worrying that the floor's held on just with two little <laughs> two little bits of beam so cut that one Cut that one, and then that is the floor gone. <laughs> All right, now we've got a spaceship with a hole in it. So I might try and be clever and sort of cut this like that and that. No, we destroyed some aluminium, damn it. <laughs> anyway, we've got loads of stuff in this cockpit to get rid of, like these cabinets again. Oh, and what? What the hell? I've just I've just attached the entire back end or the front end, depending how you look at it. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah, there's still quite a bit to do on that before I'm done. I guess. Shall I try and do this front bit before it disappears? I'll tell you what, I think we're nearly there. So let's cut these off. I think I can probably grab all of this. Oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Come this way. So this needs to go into the furnace. Now, as that goes, let me just check. Yeah, it looks it looks pretty good. So that goes into the furnace leaving us with these. Now, I think the side parts are pretty good to go. We've just got the glass on the cockpit to deal with. So we'll shove these huge panels in there using the boucher. I mean, actually, I can sort of tether them in there. Nice. That's cool. Right. So finally, we've just got to deal with this cockpit. So I guess we'll do a cut down there. Cut up there. Do the same on this side. Oh, God. Oh, God. The top's come off. Hang on. Hang on. Let me move down. Let me move down. <laughs> Okay, so where did that top go? There it is. So that's all to be processed. So you head that direction. Same with the bottom piece. You go over that way. And then for the glass, we just need to do this edge, I think. So we'll give that a rotate. We'll do a vertical slice there. Do the same there. And here we go. We got the bit for the furnace. So boosh. See you later, glass. Meanwhile, the remaining can go in there. And then we've just got this to deal with. Now, giving it a bit of a scan, it looks like there's an inner shell of metal and then the outer shell is just nanocarbon. I don't see any canisters in this one. Oh, wait, is that a canister? I see a canister at the end. Pretty sure at the end of that there's a canister. So I'm not going to risk using this tool, I don't think. Oh, look, there's a canister in there. So let's detach this, slide it out carefully. 
And then plonk it down there. Not so carefully. Get rid of all these blooming lights. There's so many lights on spaceship. I don't understand. But we can give that a cut. And then I think this entire side panel should come off. Yes, it is. It's a big boy. It's a big boy. Quite hard to move. So I'm going to grab a tether. Tether it over that way. And that should take it for me nicely. And do the same with that one. Oh, man. Tethers are actually really cool. I literally just sit here and let the tether do the work. All right. And then we're just going to do some precision cutting on this side. Because we don't want to explode the canister at the back. So here we go, melt that off and that one. And I think everything's detached. So yeah, we got this piece to go down into the barge. I think it's a big old crate. Oh, you need to go over in the into there. I do need to make sure I've got like all the lights and things off them. Oh, look, there's a light there. There's the canister we've got to be careful with. All right, then shove that in there. Shove the one behind it in there. Actually, attach it to the same thing. So that should take both of them, right? But I would have done if I didn't accidentally attach this. Oops. <laughs> Ooh, we got lots of yellow to be cutting in here. Ow, ow, ow! I did too much cutting, I'm on fire! <laughs> right, my tool overheated and I was on fire. <laughs> But look, there's tool repair kits in here, so we'll take those. All right, so meanwhile, we got this spidery thing to go in that way. What is this made of? Ah, oh, it looks like it's got it's got something on the end. Ah, oh, yes, what is this? A thruster cap. So we'll cut this off. Thank you very much. And then that gets processed over that way. Boosh! This huge piece goes in there, and then we've only got this remaining. And if we scan it, you can see there's something for us to pick up there. Nice. So I think this just all goes in the furnace. And we might get level 5. Let's hope I haven't cocked this up. So tether into there. Let's look at that. Go in. Let's hope there was nothing on there that needed to be saved. All right, there you go. It's going in. We've got level 5. Back of the net. Oh, we did destroy a door though. Oops. We get a thumbs up. All right, so rewards are maximized. Let's head back to base. Man, what a satisfying day. Look, we only destroyed five things. So we gained six million quid for that. And we're now rank level five. But anyway, it's the next morning. We got a load of daily fees again. Another 500 grand down the drain. But now if we head to the equipment room, look, we've unlocked loads of upgrades because we're level five. Now these cost Linux tokens, as you can see in the top right. We've got 104. So that one costs 36. That one 23. Ooh, and we can upgrade our thrusters to work a bit faster. Yes, please. Right, and there we go. We're just 1.2 billion in debt still. So... <laughs> <laughs> so I think we'll look out the window. Oh, you can see the handprint. And I'll say thank you once again to Focus Entertainment for sponsoring this video. Super, super fun game. I am pretty much addicted to this. I might be playing a lot of this. <laughs> But yeah, remember to check the link in my description if you want to check this out. It's on Steam as of today. So, peace, love, and smeary handprints. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.